So I'm out at the Mount Sicker property. This is the lower 911 showing mineralization. 300 meters that way, following the strike of the bedrock, and you have semi massive or heavily disseminated sulfides in a lot of this. Massive sulfides here, a lot of massive sulfides all in here. This right here is an area we've been trenching out. We've gotten massive sulfides all the way from here over to there so far, and then anything we've pulled out. You can see quartz with sulfides, pyrite, calcopyrite. This is uh, blue weathered calcopyrite here. And what we wanted to do today is just remove some of these bigger chunks of bedrock here. And uh, I'm going to try and get this big chunk out right here as well. So we have better access to this area here, which has massive sulfides. This is semi-massive sulfides in here. But it looks like the vein dip is going this way. And so I want to better expose by removing this. So I pulled off a bunch of pieces from this. And it may not look like it from this angle, but... A lot of this is actually massive or semi-massive sulfides. These pieces here all came from in here. Piece of quartz there. Pyrite and calcopyrite. What we're trying to do is eyeball a rough calcopyrite of about 15 to 20%, roughly 5% copper, and we're stockpiling a lot of the material. Um, everything else we're just kind of tossing away. So it looks like a lot of this material we could keep because there's quite a bit of calcopyrite. It's got a good width to it, this, that surface. So I spent the majority of yesterday actually breaking up bedrock and breaking out some of this here digging myself a hole to sit in and clearing out this area. I got a better view here now of uh, the sulfide lens. As you can see, so it looks like this vein has dip slope, sloping with the, the dip of the bedrock going down underneath my feet here. And we have found mineralization down the other side of the road, lower than this elevation. So this is likely we're hitting the actual dip of the, the vein across there. Mineralization is all in this little trench we've hand dug. But today what I wanted to do is break into some of this and actually get some nice samples out to show you what's coming out of here. This is the edge of the vein from what it looks like. Um, and that runs across that way. So this is the actual wall of it. And there's two zones. There's the lower zone and the upper zone. And uh, you have two distinct vein areas or zones where there's 
sulfides exposed in a 25 30 meter wide area on both of them both quartz associated both have massive sulfides Some of this material that I'm pulling out of here is so soft, you can just break it with your hand. It's almost like clay. So let's get to hammering. Let's get some samples out and we'll show them as we go. So I'm hammering into some right here. I've gotten a few pieces off already. Very nice samples loaded with calcopyrite and pyrite here's a few samples that are massive this is the last piece I just pulled off here calcopyrite and pyrite and I'm just gonna Hammer this one here and pull that off. A couple of pieces here will come off. Almost have a bag full now. Been hammering into this vein for a little while. About to pull off another piece of the vein. There we go. Quartz and calcopyrite. And uh, pyrite. Very nice sample. Let's uh, pull off another couple pieces from here. As you can see, the sulfides are everywhere. We got another nice piece here, I think, that we're gonna pull off. Make sure it's good. Look at that. And this piece here, nice, very nice sulfides and quartz. Grab a few more pieces, then we'll get all the samples together and I'll pull a bunch of random ones and we can uh, have a look at them so here's a little hole I've been working in hammering inside that area here I did hammer a big chunk off of here yesterday and uh, I hammered some pieces off that and I want to show you what is beside the mass of sulfides and that is this right here so this is Mostly calcopyrite, other than you have disseminated pyrite kind of in the background. But all this here is calcopyrite. As you can see, here's the boulder that I pulled off there. So I just wanted to show that. We're going to take some of these pieces as well. So that piece right there is broken off and broken up. We'll show some of those samples, but first I want to show this piece here, which I actually hammered off right here. And you can see even outside the immediate quartz, there's quartz everywhere still throughout the schists and you have 
a lot of chalcopyrite. So mineralization isn't just confined to this exposed vein, it is all along here, as you can see here. It looks like to me we are on the upper portion of the vein, but you can see the mineralization there all throughout here. Mineralization there. All along here. Here. And this continues all the way around. The widest part of this road is still mineralized. You can see. So over there is where I've been sampling mostly today and width-wise we're about six, seven meters away and you can see here again you got massive sulfides just peeking up through the, the ground here. So it's like we're pretty much just on top of the occurrence and everything is just being scratched with this ditch and the taking out of this bedrock here. All this black stuff here is actually copper sulfides. So we have about 25 samples here laid out uh, smaller size samples and then six or seven larger ones we'll show you what we got today and yesterday just some random samples from the the bag we won't show everything because we got about 350 kilograms between yesterday and today
few more samples here. This one here is mostly calcopyrite. And the last two smaller pieces here. Let's have a look at some of the bigger ones now. Here's a big one. Quartz, Slicified Schist, Calcopyrite, and Pyrite. This piece wasn't even from that first vein that we were working. This is from the outside area. Same with this piece here. This is from six meters away from that first area. And the last two pieces here. This piece here is near massive sulfides other than some quartz and a bit of schists. So those are the samples. And this is the sample area here from that flag all the way over to about right here. All those samples that we pulled primarily came from this area here with some of the bigger ones actually coming from down in here as well. So uh, from here to there, it's about a seven to eight meter width. And we got some good material here. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.